Are you looking for a weeknight family meal or a delicious Super Bowl snack? One that tastes great and will cause the crowd to roar with excitement. How about a combination of two things that everybody loves, macaroni and cheese and buffalo chicken wings? Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're going to dive into a real crowd pleaser, macaroni and cheese. Not just any ordinary, though. Buffalo, chicken, mac, and cheese. Buckle up. Let's go. All right, so let's begin. We'll start off with the prep work first. Then we'll make the sauce for this mac and cheese recipe, and then we'll throw it all together. I'm starting off with the chicken. I have poached three chicken breasts. This will be equivalent to roughly about four to five cups of shredded chicken. You can shred the chicken any way that you like. You can use a fork, you can use a knife, your hands, but a hand mixer, it'll save you a lot of time and it really shreds it really well. You can also save a little time if you buy a rotisserie chicken and use that instead of cooking it yourself. All right, let's take care of that macaroni now. This buffalo chicken mac and cheese recipe is for a large party. So I'm using three and a half cups of dry macaroni. That's about 454 grams. While the macaroni is cooking, you can start to whip up that sauce that holds this buffalo wing mac and cheese together. Take a high sided saute pan, put it over medium to medium high heat, add two tablespoons or 27 grams of butter. And then once the butter's melted, add two tablespoons or 27 grams of flour. So we're making a roux for this mac and cheese sauce. This is going to be the thickening agent. This is going to help everything bind together and become nice and thick. And just like any other roux to make a sauce or a gravy, you want to cook the roux to get that flour taste out. So cook this roux for about two to three minutes. And you might want to grab a spoon, scrape the sides of the saute pan to make sure that all of that flour and butter mixture from the roux is out from the sides. If it gets stuck in there and you pour in the milk, well, it could cause lumps. Once the roux is cooked for this macaroni and cheese recipe, it's time to add one and a half cups or 375 milliliters of milk. Grab a whisk, give everything a little bit of a mix, try to get that roux incorporated into the milk. You might want to grab a spoon, scrape the sides of the pan, the bottom of the pan, make sure that everything is very well combined. And the burner, it's still over medium heat. Keep stirring everything. The sauce, it'll start to become thicker, it becomes glossier, but once it starts to bubble and it coats the back of a spoon, then you're ready to go. You're ready to move on to the next step. Now we'll start to throw in the cheese for this hot wing mac and cheese recipe. We'll work with the cream cheese first, eight ounces or 226 grams. And it's always a good idea to let this cream cheese kind of sit out a little bit ahead of time to come to room temperature. It'll help it melt a whole lot quicker into the sauce. Once the cream cheese is melted in, now it's time to add two cups of mild cheddar cheese. That's about 226 grams. At this point in the sauce making process, we really just want to melt the cheese. So turn that burner down to low to medium. We're just going to slowly melt that cheese down at the same time, giving it a little bit of a whisk, mix it in, stir it up. Once the cheese is melted into the sauce, then we're ready to move on to the next step to add a little bit of flavor to this mac and cheese recipe. Add one fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then to add a little bit of heat, one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and a dash of salt to taste. And if you like it super spicy, go ahead and add a little bit more of that cayenne or red pepper. And now we're gonna change or transform this ordinary mac and cheese sauce into a buffalo wing mac and cheese sauce. We're gonna put in three fourths of a cup or 188 milliliters of buffalo wing hot sauce. So that's all of the ingredients. Now it's just time to mix it all up. This sauce for this macaroni and cheese, it's almost done. Give it a little bit of a whisk. We're still over low to medium heat. Grab a spatula, scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, make sure that everything's well incorporated. So this mac and cheese sauce, it's looking perfect. It smells just so delicious. You can just smell all those spices and the heat coming up and out of it. But look how thick it is. That's gonna coat anything and everything. So check it out, it's perfect. Now it's time to move on to throw the chicken in. We're putting in four and a half to five cups of shredded chicken. Again, that's about three chicken breasts. Grab a spoon or a spatula and start to mix that chicken in. Make sure that it's well coated with that cheese sauce. And you really can't go wrong with the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. It's perfect for any sort of game day event or big event where there's a lot of people. It's just a real crowd pleaser. And now it's time to add the macaroni. And if your saute pan is not big enough and won't hold all this macaroni, then you can put it all together in a mixing bowl outside. But it's a good idea to add it in increments. So I'm adding a little bit of the macaroni in, and then I'm gonna mix it all together to make sure it's well incorporated. And then I'll add a little bit more until it's all incorporated and ready to go. 
So if you're out there looking for a great family meal that just doesn't cost that much and that will really satisfy everybody in the family, well, this is it. This has two things that everybody really likes. It has buffalo wings, can't go wrong with that, and mac and cheese, everybody's favorite, all tied together. This just absolutely disappears once it's put onto the table. Once everything's well mixed together, then you're ready to dive into that cheesy buffalo wing mac and cheese. So check out this hearty comfort food delight with that spicy buffalo cheese sauce, that chicken, those noodles. Oh, this looks great. Oh, but there's more, my friends. You can also bake this in the oven. If you do, you'll want to put about two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of hot wing sauce and half of a cup or about 57 grams of shredded cheddar cheese, or you can even put breadcrumbs on top and then bake it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then check it out. After it's cooked, you have best of both worlds. You have the nice creamy inside and a delicious golden brown crust on top. Check it out. That's absolutely delicious. Well, thanks for watching the Sauce and Gravy channel. I hope that you enjoyed the buffalo chicken mac and cheese recipe. And help support the channel by hitting that like button and smashing that subscribe button. And to remember, as always, to live, love, and make gravy.